really good at the end game. And I wondered if you could maybe just give a few pointers about what, you know, what makes you special. I've always loved the end game myself. And, you know, I guess then tie it into maybe larger aspects of, of uh, life or business. But uh, the end game seems to me to be part of that. Uh, well, uh, Fisher said something about Capablanca. He was considered a great master of the endgame. Uh, Fisher thought that was a misconception, uh, that Capablanca played um, so forcefully, so accurately uh, in the middle game, that he, um, he, he gained some advantages going into the end game um, that only, almost only he could appreciate. So that in reality he had amassed those advantages in, in, in the middle game and he would only convert them in the end game. Probably some of the same can be said for me um, because I think um, that sometimes when, when people say that I win end games that are equal I actually feel myself that I have a slight advantage, uh, although the computer m might not necessarily agree, um, that I've established in the, in the middle game. And I also think it comes down to, to fighting spirit. Uh, I never stop looking for resources, uh, be creative to, uh, I mean, even in simple positions, there, there, are, there are always going to be some tac little tactical uh, tricks, and if you always look for them, uh, it's surprising how often something works out. And I think uh, as long as I'm ma making good moves, I'm not taking any risks, at, at least the way I, I feel. I, I think um, I should play for, uh, for a win a as long as I can. Uh, and um, I think that's one of the things that distinguishes me from many others. <laughs>